Hey guys, you're chilling here with Bolin today. We're going to be taking a look at the first boss and the new wing, the parlor, the Silverwing Golem on Heroic. So, I've gone with the Mill Rogue with a bit of board clear, so hopefully this will actually work out pretty darn well. We'll just have to jump in and see. I've got quite a bad starting hand. I could have used um, the Doomsayer. Would have been quite nice to start things off with. Wild Pyromancer won't really be that bad. We're surrounded. What I could do is go Wild Pyromancer into a preparation of the Phantom Knives. That's about two damage across the board everywhere, which is great. But that's not what I'm going to I think I'm going to go into Stable. Does one damage to everything. He has to summon two more plates because of his passive. So there you go, two more plates, he's got two mana, he's gonna play a cut. It's perfectly fine, because that's just gonna clear everything now. Awesome. Awesome, so that's out the way. So now what could we actually do? Let's go. Right, let's play a wild pyromancer. We'll do that. That should get everything out the way. Yeah, we'll just play an eviscerate. Right, that will pretty much kill my pyromancer. But at least his plates can't charge anymore. Right, he's playing the knife. So my eviscerate is now gone. Can't do anything about that. I think I am gonna go with like, more unstable ghouls, and I think I'm gonna gang them up. They're pretty good minions to play with. I'm looking. For it. I'm looking for Abomination. Abomination, apparently, he won't do much. So, if I can get an A-bomb, that'll be great. Right, his minions are too high. Especially for the, what I want to play, so... We'll let the Unstable Ghoul do the work for us. Because why the hell not? And now he's going to draw a lot of cards. So this is why Mill Rogue actually works pretty darn well, because I'm just making him draw. He's already got 10. He can't do anything with that. Will he actually attack? No, he won't. Cool, so now I can actually start the mill process. Alright, so he's going to burn cards. I'm going to drop my SI7 just to get that lower. Cool, now wait. Okay, so that's gone. He's going to slam. Okay, he doesn't like the mirror lock, that's fine. Armor, draw a card. That's fine, he's on 9. Perfectly fine. Now, he ain't gonna do nothing. So I'm gonna play another ghoul, get the ghoul out. And I'm just gonna hold on. If he ain't gonna play anything, then... I've pretty much got this. It doesn't look like he can play anything, he's too worried about losing it. But the problem is, I can't actually get through. Unless I get that knife down, which means I need another SI7 agent to come out relatively soon. So I'm just going to end my turn. He's burning a cup, that's fine. My turn again. Got my Death Lord. I'm going to drop that down. Going to end my turn again. Okay, so he got a knife. Actually, has something he can attack now. He doesn't mind attacking that. Another knife is out. It's perfectly fine. And it looks like everything is full again, which is great. So I could play a Doomsayer, but he's on nine cards. So there's really no need. Right, what's he gonna do? He's gonna give it a 7-7. Seven, seven. Another knife comes out. He's gonna draw more cards. He's already down to two cards. I'm still on 17. So only got two cards left. His hand is full on ten. That's perfectly fine. I am actually going to play my Doomsayer, which will clear the board. And really, nothing much else I need to do now. That one was an empty. That's fine. It's all gone. Just going to go for the face. That's perfectly fine. Doomsayer will clear up the problems. And now I can start playing my A-bomb. Right, let's heal up, because we have taken a lot of damage. He's got one card left, and he's in the fatigue stage. 
Right, so what's he gonna do now? More cups, more charges. More cups, more cups, more cups. So I'm gonna drop that there. I'm gonna drop that there. Get rid of some more of his cards. There's nothing he can really play. Let's gang up. Gang up our A bomb. A bombs are really good for this. And I'm gonna go for the face. Right, so that's all set. He's going into fatigue one. Awesome. He's gonna summon two more plates. He's gonna play a cup. He's only got four cards left in his hand. Three cards left in his hand. And he's not going for it. Cool. I'm gonna play an unstable ghoul. I'm gonna attack him. I'm gonna get rid of the four. I'm gonna armor up again. Well, not armor up, get my dagger out. And he goes to fatigue number two. So, if you guys are looking for an easy guide, I'd actually say play A bomb. If you can get abominations, you pretty much got it. Even with just one A bomb, if you just craft it, you'll be fine. Because the AI doesn't like it. Why would he kill something that's going to get rid of his entire board? He's only got three cards left. And I got another abomination. So there you have it guys, very easy to do on Heroic, uh, with Mill Rogue, very simple, got not much of a problem. And yeah, you'll take 8 damage, cool, all done. Alright, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope my list on the side up there will help you a lot, and I'll catch you on the flip side, don't forget to like and subscribe, laters.